and welcome back to Hot Mess Science. I'm Mrs. Nichols. Today, my assistant's name is Eddie. Eddie Nichols. And uh, what is today's episode about? Ed? Phases of the moon. We're going to do some phases of the moon. Uh, and it's a great day to start it because today is March 24th, and that means that we are just about to begin a new moon cycle. In fact, it will be a new moon tonight. So if you go outside tonight to look for the moon, you're going to see a whole lot of nothing because we aren't able to actually see the side of the moon that is reflecting sunlight tonight. We're starting a new cycle. And so after tonight, we're going to start to see a little bit more light and a little bit more light and a little bit more light. Um, and so we're going to start to model that. One of the major misconceptions about phases of the moon is that some people think that the phases of the moon are caused by the Earth's shadow. And that's really not true. The Earth's shadow does have a lot to do with eclipses, but it doesn't really have anything to do with why we see these different shapes. Why is it that we see these different shapes when we look up at the moon at night? And the reason is, is because the moon is revolving around us. It's revolving around us counterclockwise. The moon is always half lit. Half of it is always faced toward the sun, but we can't always see that half, depending on where the moon is in its orbit. So today we're gonna model some of those phases using what, Eddie? Oreos. Oreo cookies. We're gonna do a quick little model that shows us not only where the moon's position is when it revolves around Earth, but what the perspective of the people on Earth have when they're looking up at the moon. So for the activity to model the phases of the moon, you're going to need some Oreos. I prefer double stuffed, but you could have whatever you want. Uh, you'll also need something to spread out the frosting to redistribute the light portions of the moon. So we're gonna use a knife and it's gonna get crummy and messy. So we're gonna have some sort of a, a plate or, or a napkin here nearby. Uh, optionally, you can use a diagram. I've created one to organize where your phases of the moon will be going and I'll put a link for this document in the video. to make our moon phase model today. It took us nine Oreos, so nine Oreos were harmed in this video. 